fucking build outers here. What? Yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm gonna grab make an egg here and destroy these fucking planter boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna grab make an egg here and destroy. I'm gonna pick these planter boxes up. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna pick these because, dude, it's echoing on my stream. It's loud. Dude, it's echoing on my stream so bad. Impressive. 
but how did such an incredible season give us a nice place to finish? Would he have to do that to win the whole gosh dang thing? Now we have bare minimum had to at least one rookie of the year, right? Wrong! All those touchdowns and yards and he didn't even get his first Pro Bowl berth. I told you guys that award is more impossible than MVP. And at the end of his rookie season, he's all the way up to an 81 overall. And as you see, he does have the superstar development trait, which is huge as a rookie. The three challenges completed in just one season. This is just the beginning for Mr. Bryce Young. Already almost a top 10 quarterback. And he's still only 21, dude. I'm excited to see exactly what this young man can accomplish throughout hopefully what will be a long career. Now, throughout the off seasons, we have to track and see what the GMs do around Bryce. We need him to spend some big money and give Bryce some big targets to throw to. Now, before I reveal our surprisingly super solid free agency class, I have to show you guys Bryce Young already improved his superstar X Factor. But after the Super Bowl, he had four of his ratings actually go down, but he increased his superstar X Factor, make it make sense, EA Sports. And thank God the Panthers front office takes their football seriously, giving out a bad contract to Michael Thomas, four years and with $80 million, to give Bryce Young a new number one receiver. Now let's see if they can add even more count around Bryce this time through the draft. Come on, don't be an absolute stinker. It's a small draft class, but okay, we got maybe the running back of the future into next season. Will this be the team that Bryce can lead in the playoffs for the first time in his career? Can we please a bare minimum just not progress massively here in year two? Now that's more like it, Bryce Young. Already just in year two leading his team to playoffs with a solid 11 and 6 record. Really hope we're not one and done in the playoffs here. We can at least get Bryce's first playoff win. Offense improved slightly this season while the defense went backwards. So you guys remember when I talked about massive regression? Like he made the playoffs and all, but that felt a lot worse in his rookie season. Michael Thomas was a touchdown machine, but my god, dude, John Domingo actually looks like he's making a solid connection with Bryce. Trevor Lawrence wins MVP. Bryce Young doesn't even sniff the top 10. At least he did improve all the way up to an 86 overall. Bryce Young already not even a full two seasons in yet is a top 10 NFL quarterback. Now let's just see if this team can go on a miraculous Super Bowl run here. Not expecting to, but at least take a win. No Super Bowl, unfortunately. <laughs> Do we want Bryce three in the first round? It might actually be a lot harder than I thought to get five playoff wins. How on earth did this season warrant a Pro Bowl appearance to EA Sports? Oh gosh, I mean, like, don't take it as complaining, because trust me, I'm not. But, like, the same time, stupid. Always such a serotonin boost this year, division rival losing the Super Bowl. Now let's have another big offseason this go-around so it can be us in the Super Bowl next season. This free agency class definitely not on par with last year's, and it's pretty depressing when this is the peak of your free agency. Hopefully this draft class will make up for it, though. I mean, it's not horrible, but, like, why on earth would you waste a pick on a quarterback when you have Bryce Young? Start of year three, and with Bryce Young at the helm of this offense, I have a really good feeling that third time will be a charm. In a bare minimum this season, we just complete some challenge so we can continue to work towards our goal of not having to file for much bankruptcy. Back to back playoff first, so I can't complain about that. I just hope eventually we can actually win the freaking division. Why do we have to play San Francisco again? Oh my gosh, that's the worst offense we've had yet. Okay, so Bryce himself had a pretty spectacular season. 4,500 yards to 47 touchdowns, only 9 interceptions. Maybe just maybe these could be MVP type numbers. Jonathan Mingo and Michael Thomas are dogs. No shot the 19th best offense had an NFL MVP, right? Correct. But at least for the first time in his career, he did come top 5. So just once, just once, and hopefully in a 20-plus year career, he'll be able to move up four spots and win the whole thing. His highest MVP voting yet, and I guarantee he doesn't make a Pro Bowl. I was wrong! Let's go! That's better than winning an MVP! Go on, Bryce Young! Already up to a 90 overall. Keep in mind, this dude's still only 23 years old, so there is plenty of time for this man to join the 99 Club. Now can we please just win one simple playoff game so we can get that thing going? Let's go! Officially on the board. Can we beat the 14 and 3 Vikings and make it two in a row? This would actually be pretty sick. Already an NFC championship. Run. Let's go! I told you guys third time could be a charm. We are literally one game shit. This party is giving you a charm roll burger to celebrate International Burger Day on May 28th.
I mean, it's just like Tony Adele completely. It's just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else. Just Is it a surprise that she left out the pretty part? Not really. I think all of us know what a bad bitch is. It's used so much in today's culture, but um, that's her coke definition. Women, whatever. Men, whatever. Anybody can be a certified bad bitch. Yes. Yes. I'm a bad bitch now, guys. What my pronouns are now. Y'all need to refer to me as that. Every comment saying Poncho's a bad bitch. And also, since I'm a bad bitch now, I can finally get followers on Instagram. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Go follow me at Poncho WT. I'm a bad bitch now. Send me money. Invite me on your yacht. I'm certified now. Is that just, the, it's just, I think it's just a level of confidence and it's the mindset for sure. Is that the uh, occupation you list on your taxes? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't think she realizes she's being trolled. <sighs> I'm about to turn 24, but I feel like in the last year or so, like my style is like ever so changing. With Mm, your style's not changing. Your size of clothes is changing. Shout out to everybody that's in that room that's keeping a straight face. I'm just like Chase. I would not be able to. If you told me to keep a straight face in that room, that's like Mission Impossible. You're asking way too much for me. Why are you laughing? <laughs>
Do you usually go around calling people that word, or what do you, what do you no, like, you think that's a funny thing to do, or? No. So why would you call me that? But you, but I want, not, why would you call me that? I'm, I'm literally, I'm about to post this on Twitter, that's why I'm taking a picture of you, because your face is going to be all over Twitter. I have freaking 300,000 followers on Twitter, and you're going around calling people the N word? That's just not cool. Okay. That shit is not cool. That's not cool. You can't be doing stuff like that. <laughs> you can't be doing that. That's something, that's, that's dumb. You need to apologize now. Yes, you need to be really sorry. That's, 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 Dude, she, he making her cry. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. You're changing? Dude, this base is big. Dude, I thought you were on my account watching that jump out of Zay. <laughs>
for sex. <laughs> Why does humanity have to go this direction? I can't be the only one who thinks that it's crazy that society has gotten to the point where we have mega simps now. Not just like simps and not even ultra simps, but we have omega ultra simps that are going out of their way to buy an AI sex bot. It blows my mind. Like, bro, just have you tried getting some pussy? Like, how the fuck are you that down bad to where you actually need to resort to this? Dude, let me be your parent or something real quick. Like, go outside. But yeah, no, to be honest, I don't even really want to be your parent because that's just like, uh, I'm talking to a stone wall. Like, I'm talking to a brick wall. I just won't get anywhere with you because you're your sim tendencies, you're just going to want to keep jacking off to the AI bot, so really it's, you're just kind of a lost cause if you do that, but um, you guys get what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's just wild how this type of stuff even exists nowadays. It's apocalyptic. If you really think about it, it's like we really have these options available now. And it's not even from a real person, it's just a bot. We have people jacking off to a robot. What the fuck? The saddest part about all of this is that these people that are falling victim, well, I mean, I, I guess they bring it upon themselves by even uh, trying to buy these services, but what's sad about it is they probably think they're actually getting like a connection with these robots when it's, it's, it's just a robot. It's not a human. They don't have a soul. They can't like emotionally help you out. I guess if that's what you're looking for. How Amy Schumer, see this won't be interesting, how Amy Schumer became the most hated human ever. Every single list titled Worst or Most Hated Comedians of All Time by... Well, the cat, who is the worst comedian? I would say the worst comedian I've ever seen is Amy Schumer. Oh, actually, I'm not, uh, this is gonna be a hot take or a cold take, okay? Worst comedian recently, not his old shows, new shows. Gabriel Iglesias, I would still rather watch him, but he has gotten so unfunny. Amy Schumer was never funny, though. Toward the beginning of her career, she was actually liked and respected amongst the general population. For example, she was listed in Time's Top 100 Most Influential People of 2015, whilst her comedy specials such as This One, This One, and This One received mostly positive reviews, while now confidently stating that Amy Schumer leaves her audience in stitches. However, while this review was mostly positive, if we go back a couple of sentences, it also points out the first reason as to why Amy Schumer would eventually be a one trick pony. She talks about sex. That's it, bro. I have only watched one of Amy Schumer's comedy specials. I watched 45 minutes of it. And every joke was about genitals. Every single joke was about genitals. That comedian, who would I name? Um, Ricky Gervais is pretty good. Uh, Tom Segura is one of my favorites. Tom Segura, Ricky Gervais, John Mulaney, good. Dave Chappelle. Those are my four. Those are my four. Interrupting today's video to tell you about something very important. G Fuel. But not this flavor. Even though that flavor's pretty good. I'm here to tell you about the all new, not even released at the time of this video being filmed, Rick and Morty Collector's Box and Flavor. My editors are responsible for popping up the two images here. At the time of this video, they might be out for complete release, but regardless, I would get in on it as quick as possible because the Strawberry Limeade Portal Fluid Flavor is out and it's better than ever. So if you want to check out the all-new Portal Fluid Flavor or any of the other G Fuel flavors, you can check the link in the description and use code JOEB for 10% off at checkout. Let's get back into the video. As the title of her special suggests, she talks about sex and she doesn't talk about much else. Her idea of comedy is making jokes about how terrible her vagina smells and or how many guys. That's not comedy. This was a comment on a thread discussing why her style was so controversial, the thread including another supporting comment which stated, you can call her a one-trick pony or a two-trick, which are, one, here is my vagina, I want a detailed description, you will have it anyway, two, men are pathetic, and I like to assault slash manipulate slash emasculate them in every way. With these two comments in mind, it becomes obvious that... Should we watch a clip of one of Amy Schumer's, uh, like, videos? Devo is here. Devo, great try. of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she just made a 
joke about his friend that recently died. No shot. <laughs> She just said thank you, and do you hear everybody say, oh, oh. I want to sleep with someone, I do it, and I, I am a monogamous plot. Can I say that on yeah. the <laughs>
you would, that's like, that's like noticeable. Like you, everyone would be like, holy shit. Where's everybody fucking coming? Worst of all, when her audience gives her honest feedback, she whines about how her critics must hate women or how they're all all right. Yeah, sure, Amy. The only reason people hate you is that they're all a bunch of Nazi anti-Semitic misogynists. This woman also highlighted that- Yeah, I don't like that. I think it's a whole separate section of, of things. People that say women aren't funny and use Amy Schumer as an example is a terrible argument. Like, there are many, like, comedians yeah, that are yeah. women that are hilarious. Like, I, you can go on Netflix and watch a, a bunch of funny women that are comedians. Amy Schumer is an offshoot example of the most, she's just unfunny because she's unfunny. It's not because it's not because she's a woman. Yeah. It's because she's Amy Schumer. But Amy Schumer comes rather than yeah. take photos with fans. Which stated Amy Schumer wants to make it clear she does not own you a selfie. The article was. I have never denied someone of, of a picture when I've met them. If someone, this is what I'll do. If I'm in a rush and someone recognizes me and they're like, "Can I take a picture?" I literally say, "Yeah, can it be quick though? I gotta go." And then I'll go and I'll say, "Have a nice day," and I'll leave. Right? Like sometimes I get like. People don't want to talk to, like, she's way more famous than me. I'm not really famous. I would say I have clout. She's more well-known than I am. But I would say, like, at the end of the day, even if you don't want to talk to someone, you should still, like, there's going to be days where, like, you want to be alone and someone walks up to you and you're like, eh, whatever. But, like, you got to realize they're supporting you and they want to just take a picture with you. Just take the picture real quick. Like, what's wrong with that? Right? Now, if they're a dickhead to you, yeah, you can be a dickhead back. But most people that want to take a picture with you aren't being assholes. They're usually nice. I went on to describe an exchange that Amy Schumer had whilst in town for a comedy show. This guy in front of his family just ran up next to me and said, shit out of me. He put a camera in my face. I asked him to stop, and he said, no, it's America, and we pay for you. This was in front of me. Yeah, I am. I was saying stop and no. Great message to your kid. Yes. Okay, well, that guy Mate, what that do you want to do? Legally, you're allowed to take a picture of me. So I'm asking you to stop and say no. I will not take pictures with you. The other person involved was then interviewed by a local news station. A whole different side of the story was revealed. I'm trying to figure out how to build these peaks for this base. It's a two by. It's a two by two shell. What? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, I can. So if Amy Schumer was too famous to check into her local gym or take photos with fans, she must yeah. have been surely she'd be happy with an eleven million dollar offer from Netflix for one of her comedy specials in your life. Dude, I'm trying to figure out I got the open core done for this base and everything. I just need to get the shooting floor done. It's only give me a week and my comedy special would be shit, but it would be better. They are. Because I texted them earlier. They're not. Yeah. Because, because supposedly, they were like, they were like, if Brad isn't going to be on when we have bows, then he can't be on when we have guns. Yeah. When I have a reason why I wasn't on. I'm still trying to figure out this 2x2 two two, though. A lot of people fucking hate Dave Chappelle. He won't make insensitive jokes. Like, he genuinely will. Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock were ranked as number 9 and number 5 on Rolling Stone's top 50 comedians of all time. Whilst the only list Amy Schumer seems to top is IMDb's top 10 worst comedians of all time. I gotta go see that list. I gotta read that list. I need, I need to see that fucking list. Worst stand-up comedians of all time. Amy, Whitney Cummings, never heard of. Brendan, never heard of. Jimmy Fallon. 
I could see how Jimmy Fallon would be a bad stand-up comic. Whoopi Goldberg, Andy Dick, Carlos, Joe Rogan. I did. I actually didn't like Joe Rogan's stand-up comedy. I'd watched it before. Brian Callen, that's kind of shocking. Gabriel Iglesias, yes, there he is, there he is, there he is. What did I say, chat? What did I, oh, George Lopez? I feel like that's a hot take. I feel like George Lopez is a decent comedian. When Dave Chappelle went on Comedy Central all the way back in 2004, it received a viewership of 3.1 million people. Yet when Amy Schumer went on Comedy Central at the height of her popularity in 2016, her viewership was less than 500,000. I'm truly cackling at the audacity of Amy Schumer thinking she deserved the same pay as Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Like, girl, what? So Andy Schumer wants Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle money, but haven't put in the years they put in. Talk about privilege and opportunity, shaking my head. Amy Schumer is maybe Josh Gad level. She's not as famous or endearing as Chris Rock. She's not a legend like Dave Chappelle. In case Amy Schumer complaining about being paid $11 million wasn't already done enough. <laughs> you good? Yeah, how do you complain about 11 mil for an hour? An hour special. 11 million. These two giving example after example of the ways in which Amy Schumer had stolen jokes from other comedians in the past. Hi, how you doing? Great. All right, can somebody help you with this? Oh uh, yeah, she's right over. Oh, she's not there. Can someone help you today? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Who was it? Bro, that is a dead copy. You know, I don't, I don't see him. Oh, that's okay. What'd she look like? She. Yeah. Dad copy. That's so fucking weird. She had a favorite president. It would probably be Lincoln. Are there any other distinguishing features? I would guess you probably would have heard Obama. I know I did. As these compilations began to pick up steam on YouTube, news article after news article was published calling Amy Schumer a joke thief, whilst others within the comedy space would come forward stating that Amy Schumer stealing jokes was discussed regularly behind the scenes. Twitter took the exact same standpoint in posts such as, is it just me or is Amy Schumer just not that funny? Despite the fact that she has a terrible personality and steals half her jokes. Prompting... How does she steal jokes and she steals bad jokes? <laughs> like, if you're gonna steal jokes, at least steal like good ones. And I'm so careful. And none of these things had ever reached me. And I like I will literally take a polygraph. And I just would never do that. Like that would be so stupid for me to do that. Amy Schumer would eventually take a polygraph test for a vanity fair video during which she was asked about stealing jokes. Coming up with new material is difficult. Nice, uh, it, oh my god. Is BP gonna is BP gonna play with us? What about him? Dude, what, what the phrase? fuck? Have you ever there seen you an inspiration go. for a joke from somebody else? No. Yeah, the video is edited in a bizarre way where she says no. Me, why would I inside? Whether or not she was telling the truth. The whole dilemma was certainly a point of debate. Yet one joke which I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I have a history. Was a joke made That's, I mean, I'm not like that no more. Oh, we just watched that. That's the worst joke ever. Dude, that was so fucked. Like, how did you write that and be like, yeah, people are gonna love that. Yeah, BP wasn't even, you know, BP's not even mad about that. Mad at me anymore, buddy. He's mad at you still. <laughs> He's what he told me the other day. He told me that uh, Wednesday night. He was like, we were talking about it. So I made a joke about it. And he was like, dude, I'm not even mad about that no more. I'm mostly mad at him because my teammate had one job and he didn't want to do it. She was not even making a joke and just saying, oh, yeah, why wasn't it me? She was saying, why? She was saying, she was saying Steve-O should have died. That's so fucked. Steve-O is always laughing. When he's not, it's for real. Imagine being such a buzzkill that you kill Steve-O's vibe. Amy Schumer doesn't understand the concept of dark humor. She's got the dark, now she just needs to find the humor. Oh, what made this so even worse was that her audience would eventually use this little zinger as an example that Amy Schumer was able to dish out harsh jokes but was unable to take them herself. What we're referring to is a tweet made in early 2016 oh, by 
17 year old movie critic who had posted a photo of himself with Amy Schumer titled with a light-hearted comedic caption reading spent the night with at Amy Schumer certainly not the first guy to write that referring to Amy often talking about the different guys she's been with during her shows so if oh, Alan did she get hard breath thought it was appropriate to joke about Steve-O's recently deceased friend surely she shouldn't have I... someone making a little comment about the amount of guys she's been with especially considering it's basically all she talks about within her shows well this isn't that, that bad you can still shoot through those. You peek these. Yeah. That's the same type of joke Amy Schumer uses to keep her fame. Suddenly that humor is off limits now, huh? Yeah, she calls herself one, but then if someone else makes a joke about it, then it's not stupid. Dude, I don't know. Like, I I just feel like how are they gonna keep rehiring her for specials? Because that means people are still like people have to be watching her if they're giving her that much money. But yeah, we're gonna move on to some last video. Dude, he's watching my stream right now, dude. I got someone watching. It's such a bad game. It gets boring over time. I don't know how people actually enjoy enjoy that game. Dang, they selling. I used to have them as a pet. Yeah, they are selling. Oh my god, they're eating one. Chat, when you eat goldfish, how many do you eat in a bite? I'll boost. I fucking pour a handful and I go. And I fucking gnaw those bitches down. I can run down to uh, F11. <laughs> Oh, I'm like right here, close. I'm by the kids that are selling Tommies and stuff, so. They taste like mini cheddars. What the fuck are mini cheddars? Dude, their base is small. The guys that are selling Tommies, their base is really small. Mini cheddars over goldfish. These look so ass. It's fully cheap, man. That's a thing. Dude, why are you shooting me? Like, you have no goddamn life. Right now, obviously, so they fit 
your ear type. And some of you might be saying, Joe, I'm not letting you kill me, I'm going myself. They're snug, don't worry. Raycon Everyday Earbuds offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life in the charging case. They also offer different sound profiles just by holding on the side of the ear but to change between modes of listening. One of which is noise isolation so you hear yeah, what's the basis on called? and less of what's going on outside. If you're interested in Raycon's Everyday Earbuds or any of their other products, click the link in my description or go to... That's not bad at all. So I have them between you and Gun Jam. Yeah. Yeah. Which one's better, chat? Cheez-Its or Goldfish? Cheez-Its are most definitely better. Like, by far. I don't like how many sets there are. <laughs> oh, I hate how, I hate, I hate how people say Zen. Bro, Zen's too, that's a thing. Always with a Zen, but they have to put a Zen at every point. Okay, this, this is the same thing. It's always the American. Okay, it's not that fucking serious, pal. And they always have to put a Zen at the end. This is the same type of kid where you bring up, uh, how British people say Tuesday, and then he just rants about how uh, everybody gets shot in schools. That's this kid. That's this kid. Well, at least our schools are a shooting ground. Shut up. They're a bit, um... They taste like salt and cheese. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> Where at? I say prefer those just because there's a bit of a more of a choice. It's a vinegar taste. Okay, I he just said he just said that tastes like vinegar. I'm literally gonna look up cheeses. I guarantee you that's not even an ingredient. Vitamin B, full of vegetables. I did okay, so I had a Spotify bro, and I built my music for like two years, right? And I when I was uh working at the fucking wing place washing dishes, I always had Bluetooth headphones, so I paid for Pandora Premium. And then uh I, when I lost my job, instead of just fucking letting me cancel it, my mom said, Oh that that uh that wasn't her pet trying to pay for the shit, it was somebody else using her card like that. So they they shut my whole fucking account down. So I said fuck that. Yeah, bro, on Spotify they took my whole account. So I said fuck that. I ain't gonna sit there and make all new playlists and shit. I have like ten different fucking playlists. Nigga had them whole different moods, like type shit, like shit for doing different shit. Word, that sounds that sounds fire, low key. I'm over here with that. Not like combos, combos definitely don't taste like real cheese. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like that's cool and all, but like that's too dead. I feel like. I mean, yeah, I can, I can grind and I can get so, like I can get. Tell me if this is facts. Combos, the first one, you're kind of weirded out by it, but the more you eat of combos, the better. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like combos you eat, the better they taste. The first combo oh, I get a guaranteed off. Okay. The first combos are Really? God damn. <laughs> Property <laughs> turret, they put in a rape. Oh, actually, no, pizza are those are those are top tier 
Damn, niggas be broke. Yeah. Damn, good job. That's the first song. You were in a bot lobby. Like actually nothing like pizza. They're just salty. <laughs> Hold on. No, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably hop on later. I'm not gonna hold you. I really wanna play God. Where that nigga Brad at? Oh my God, they don't know Pringle etiquette. Where's nigga Brad at? Do I got that nigga muted because he was being a faggot the other night? You eat it and you rest it on your oh, tongue, no? and you fucking eat the whole thing. Pringles are one bite foods. If you eat Pringles in multiple. Oh, what you finna go do? I'm not gonna hate on them. Awesome shit they to get into. They haven't had pizza Pringles. They don't know pizza Pringles. Oh. Okay, so fine. Y'all got a base down and shit? No, I'm getting one down. Alright, alright, we're here. Uh, I've been here the whole time. Uh, I'm not getting one down. I'm farming for one. I said I'm about to get one down. Alright, well, since he's gonna get off, Brad, just stay in the party, chill in the party. Alright. I'll hop on with you. What the fuck did I do? Go on. Who do you think you are? Yo, Brad, I'ma put you on, bro. What kind of blunts you smoke, little nigga? What? What kind of blunts you smoke, little nigga? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. Keep it a bow with you. Yeah, you legit you don't burn like that, for real. <laughs> that nigga be smoking him. He be smoking out of black and miles, like actual black and mild. He take the filter off and break them apart. <laughs> Damn it. Roll them up. Nah, <laughs> boss. Damn, this isn't even the ones I thought it would. Oh, wait. Yeah, this isn't the ones I thought it would. Man, this is not the blunts I wanted. No way. I like that fat ass nigga kitty. Huh? Yeah, you know, but that's not me. Nah, but me and him have known each other probably at like a year longer than me. Have you known me and you known each other? Four years. I wonder what old girl, I left old girl at work, this black girl with a, bro, she got such a fat ass. She be flirting. She be flirting with me all the time, right? And, uh, ah, nah, cause me and her be talking about smoking together, and I had told her I left a, uh, I left a half a blunt outside, and she had went and got it. I'm wondering what she finna say about that blunt, cause that's like the trash weed I get. That's like the mids I get. That ain't no loud. Look good for you. Right, where's the smoker? I'm bad for business. Yeah. God damn, you fucking we were raping that fucking moose looking bitch. Yeah. I'm waiting for this uh, fire to heat up. Actually, it's probably about done now. Cane, hey, yo, pause. And then they're amazing. Oh 
I don't know why you chased the fucking. You have no goddamn life. You're getting off. 